On every house you build, there's three things you need to keep in mind when you're choosing the systems for this house. On today's episode, we're gonna use this house as an example. I'm gonna tell you three things you have to know as a builder before you start construction. As a builder, you face a lot of risks out there. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can lower your exposure to risk and especially build a longer lasting, more durable house. So let's get going. What we're talking about today is choosing your waterproofing system for your houses. And I'm gonna give you three categories that you need to consider as you choose the waterproofing. So the first category, climate. Depending on which climate you are, you're gonna choose different products. I'm down here in climate zone two. This is the hot, humid south. But I've also got a very rainy climate. We get about 35 inches a year annually here in Austin, Texas. And if you're in a climate that gets more than 20 inches, you're in the top category of risk when it comes to rain. You're not in a desert climate where you can kind of do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You're in a climate you're getting a lot of rain, your houses face a lot of exposure. Okay, number two on the list is the type of architecture you're building. Now look at this house behind me. I'm building a beautiful house here with Shiflet Group Architects. Looks like fairly traditional architecture. I've got some nice overhangs, two foot overhangs in fact, and a beautiful porch here on the back that's facing the lake. It gives me some nice um, kind of shielding over those back doors from the weather. But look a little closer. If you look at the second floor on this house, look at the gable ends. Both this gable where the fireplace is, this other gable over here where the bedroom is, both of those have basically no overhang, just like a little two or four inch overhang here. And then this turn gable behind me where the master is, also very low overhang. And then this gorgeous sloped kind of curved soffit detail that runs right into the roof over there by that curved window. Again, basically no overhang. If you're building a house with no overhangs or low overhangs, you're put into that higher exposure, higher risk category. You need to take greater precautions and figure out a more bulletproof, a more bomber waterproofing system. And the third type of exposure that I wanna talk about is a builder exposure that every builder faces and that's the type of clients you're building for. If you're building for clients that have sued someone before, a builder in particular, if you're building for clients that are CEO types where they have a, an attorney in the office next door to them, those are higher risk clients and you need to really take precautions. Remember 80% of construction defects are water related. So this is not a topic you can mess up. You cannot afford to do anything wrong here. You gotta take precautions. So what have I done here? I've got high climate exposure. I've got a house that has low overhangs, two stories. Maybe you're building a coastal house or a house on the top of a mountain. These are high exposure houses. And typically I'm building for clients that are high exposure as well. I need to take the best waterproofing into consideration for my houses. And that's why on this particular house, I've chosen a system that I've come to really like. This is Polywall's Aluma Flash Plus. This is a hybrid approach where the main body of the house is a peel and stick house wrap. This is a 40 mil product that's kind of like an ice and water shield. It's got a uh, facer on there that's aluminum so it can resist the sun's rays. It actually has a lot of open exposure time, actually a whole year before it needs to be covered and it mates extremely well with Polywall's fluid applied, their blue barrier. We can use this to detail all the seams, the recessed windows, the window flanges, all those tricky details that are sometimes hard to do when you've got the origami of a traditional house wrap you can do with this fluid applied. And if you look at the details of the house, I think we've absolutely nailed it. We've got high exposure, but when we use a product like this, we've really reduced our risk. Now remember, this is a zero perm product, meaning you can't dry through this. Perfectly acceptable if you're in climate zone one, two, or three. If you're in the south where it's hot and humid, totally fine. Look at your climate zone map. I'll make sure to put a link of that in the description. If you're in a higher climate zone, if you're building in Minnesota, you don't want to use this product. You want to use something more like Delta Vent SA. That's going to be a peel and stick, also a very commercial, very bomber waterproofing but it's vapor open so you can dry through it. These are really my two main choices for peel and sticks out there. Now there are some fluid applied options out there. We'll talk about those later in the year, but the point of the video, check out your exposure. Look at those three things that I talked about and figure out where your house is, where your clients are and pick the products that are gonna protect that house because you only get one shot at doing this right. Your clients are gonna remodel their kitchen someday, but they're sure not gonna remodel their waterproofing. You gotta do it right from the start. 
Guys, thanks for joining me. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm always posting pics from the job site like this so you can see all the bomber products that my crew and I are using to ensure details that are durable and houses that are gonna last for generations. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.